actually arjun doesn't have doubts he is an enlightened soul he is seated in knowledge after god realization is there any scope for darkness to overpower the sun yet arjun is asking bhagavad gita chapter 4 verse chanting is followed by translation and commentary by swami mukundananda अर्जुन उवाच अपरम भवतो जन्म परम जन्म विवस्वत कथमेतनीयाद प्रोक्तवानी अर्जुन सेट You were born much after Vivaswan. How am I to understand that in the beginning you instructed the science to him? So Arjun's question is a natural one. I am seeing you. You came later on. Vivas came. One came a long time ago. Now how can I understand that you gave it to Vivaswan Arjun has presented a question Our Vedic knowledge has this question and answer discussion system as its main stay In the Upanishads we all know of the famous dialogues between Nachiketa and Yamaraj between shwetaketu and uddalak between pippalad and his disciples in prashnopanishad between aruni and ayodhamya and in the bhagavatam there are five huge dialogues this question answer system has been famous in western philosophy as well Socrates was well known for encouraging his disciples to think and ask and his disciple Plato his book Dialogues is famous in modern philosophy Hegel the Greek philosopher he is considered the father of dialectics this is the dialectic process of question and answer so for hegel it is said that he was so fond of this he would go on and on he would say that two men are walking along the stream one is clean and one is unclean which of the two will bathe in the stream so you say the one who is unclean so he would say no 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 The one who is unclean is habituated to being unclean. The one who is clean is habituated to being clean. He will bathe. Then again he says, "All right. There are two men walking along the stream. One is dirty and one is clean. Which of them will bathe in the stream?" So you say the one who is clean, he'll say, "No, the one who is clean doesn't need to clean himself. It would be the one who is dirty." It is said <laughs> that one lady proposed to him for marriage and he girl started thinking will marriage be beneficial or harmful and he started writing the pros and cons by the time he came to a decision that lady was already married elsewhere and had three children karl marx he wrote dialectical materialism and that is why i decided that we now must have spiritual dialectics and with that in mind i gathered everybody's questions about 10 11 years ago and then put it down in the form of the book as questions and answers so here arjun has asked a question to lord krishna when 
the guru is asked a stupid question the guru thinks my god where am i stuck when guru was explaining the bhagavad gita to his disciple and you know in the gita mahatma this verse comes sarvopanishado gavo dogdha gopalanandana that the veda the upanishads are like the cow and nandanandan shri krishna is like the milkman who's milking this milk from the cow the upanishads in giving it to arjun so guru ji explained dogdha gopalanandana at the end of his lecture he asked his disciple do you have any questions the disciple said gurudev everything is clear but i have one question you said do gadha see do gadha is to milk now if you separate it out it becomes do gadha you told do gadha who are these two donkeys you were referring to guru ji said beta one was you and the other was me who is trying to explain it to you but here arjun's question is not a foolish question actually arjun doesn't have doubts he is an enlightened soul he is seated in knowledge after god realization is there any scope for darkness to overpower the sun likewise one who has reestablished that connection with god is then now no longer overcome by the darkness of ignorance yet arjun is asking because by yoga maya lord krishna has put arjun in ignorance so that arjun asks and he answers and that question and answer is then frozen in the form of a book but sanjay was the disciple of ved vyas what sanjay came to know ved vyas came to know automatically and ved vyas put that whole dialogue in the mahabharat so arjun is speaking with the idea of all of us in mind or let's say god is making him speak thus and arjun's question is very inviting for lord krishna to now explain the avatar rahasya the avatar rahasya is definitely a very apt topic to discuss and that is what lord krishna is going to explain in the next few verses bolie shri krishna chandra bhagwan ki जगत गुरु श्री कृपालु जी महाराज की जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय